little voice. Yeah, what you're describing is a prepubescent girl. Some of us have been through puberty and still sound like this. Although my acne makes it look like I'm currently going through puberty, which is cool. No, but for real, I get what you're saying, and I've never dated anyone that's been, like, obsessed with my voice. I like to think that people will date me because I'm funny and because I got a dump truck. As we all know, all hot people have tummy problems. I literally just went from my toilet downstairs, um, after having a really chaotic moment, and, and I thought I was done, and now I'm upstairs on another toilet. <laughs> I'm so hot. Girls, tell me about a time where your quick thinking probably saved your life. I seriously have so many of these. But this time I was in LA and it was late at night at a friend's party and I was leaving and my friend got an Uber and I made sure she got her Uber okay and then I got my Uber. And the dude was weird from the start, just like saying weird stuff about my voice and it's just like annoying and I feel like it's inappropriate when I'm like paying you to drive me home. And he was slurring his words and then he started swerving into the lane of the like oncoming traffic and luckily it was very late at night so there weren't a lot of cars. But I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't know what's going on with this dude. And then at the next red light, he started falling asleep. So my quick thinking, I changed the address in my phone to the nearest hotel on that street so I didn't have to get on the highway with him. And it was like a 20 minute time difference on the Uber and he didn't even notice that I changed the address. So I only had to be in the Uber with him for like a couple more minutes. He dropped me off at the hotel and then I took a taxi the rest of the way home. Not that bad things can't happen in a taxi, of course they can, but my family owned a taxi company and I know that there's tons more regulations on taxis than there are on Ubers. Hi, I'm Timmy Turner and Cosmo and Wanda ain't slick. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Bacon, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to get the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin Malone, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. Hi, I'm Kevin James, and I think Kevin McAllister is going to be the craziest tonight. I'm Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Since a lot of us are quarantined with our families right now, I thought I would introduce you all to mine. This is my mom and she's got it going on. She's super duper cute and pretends she doesn't toot. <laughs> this is my dad and his parts smell really bad, but he's really funny and he's super good with money. This is my nephew and he's only two. He loves a good balloon and he'll be taller than me soon. <laughs> This is my sister-in-law, and I love her every day. I have nothing bad to say, and my brother would hurt me anyway. This is my bro, he's always there for me for show. And if he starts to slap, I'll carry him on his back. This is my dog, and I love him so much. He's a precious baby angel, and if anyone tries to hurt him, I'll totally kill you. And we're almost at the end, but this is my boyfriend. He's super duper hot, I question why he's with me quite a lot. Girls, tell me about a time where your quick thinking probably saved your life. So unfortunately, I feel like I've had to save my life multiple times, but luckily I am a quick thinker in bad situations. So this particular time I was on vacation in eighth grade with my friend Michelle, and we were on an island that has no bridge, so you can only get there by boat or helicopter. When people are there, they mostly drive golf carts, you just rent golf carts, and very few people have cars. It's only the people that like live there full time, which is like very few people. And there's only a cop on the island once a week. So we're driving back to my house at like nine o'clock at night. It's like pitch blackout. And we end up driving past a stereotypical creepy white van with no windows in the back and tinted windows in the front. And it drives very slowly past us and we start to get like a little like, bad feeling. We keep driving and then we look back and we see this car trying to turn around to follow us. So in this time that's trying to turn around on this small road, I turn off the lights on the golf cart. So it's like pitch black, couldn't see anything, but luckily I've been going to this island since I was literally an infant, so I knew it very well. I drove the rest of the way home with no lights on, and I see the creepy white van trying to like look for us and driving super slowly, but it can't find us, guys, turn the lights off. Suck it. I really don't want to upset any of my female followers, but I'm so tired of girls being like, oh, all men are dogs. So that's not right. That's not fair. There are so many great dogs out there. I don't know why you think it's okay to compare them to men. Why you got lotion on the ceiling? I got a fly! There was a fly in her bathroom and I just ninja and caught it in here what? but I don't know what to do now. Oh boy. What do you think? I don't know. I was like, this is such a good idea. I'll catch him in here. And now I'm... <laughs> Can I get her? my arm? <laughs> do you think this is gonna work? Yeah, sure. Did you get it? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? Wait, let's do it outside. <gasps> Look at it! He's in there! <gasps> Look at it! Bye! 
Goodbye. <laughs> address something. I saw a comment, and I've had like millions of comments over the years that say, eh, stop talking like a baby. Why are you talking like a baby? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, I'm older than babies, so if anything, they talk like me. Secondly, I don't talk like a baby. And I don't talk like a baby. <laughs> That's not what you do. Um. Oh, sorry, I'm burping. Um. But I don't talk like a baby. I just talk and it just sounds like it's coming from someone smaller than me. Since I have a high voice, I get asked a lot if I've hit puberty or not. And I actually forgot, so let me go do that. Yeah! Uh, am I officially... Paris, please, God, why? Am I a beauty vlogger yet? Oh crap, I did the wrong way. <laughs> what is the most unprofessional thing a doctor has ever said to you? I probably have others, but the one that comes to mind right now is I asked my dermatologist how to help make my skin less red, and he told me to not be born Irish next time. <laughs> Sorry for the things I've been posting lately. I've just been kind of a mess. This whole quarantine is just, you know, it just it just messes with you, you know? And I just lost the lens to my glasses while on the toilet, so <laughs> things are gonna be fine, though. Like, seriously, I thought I was... Picking up a 12-year-old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is a stupid beauty filter. Now it's off. Okay. So, I'm just going to try to make this short, but it's going to be hard for me. I was scrolling through Instagram, and I came across this page that was, like, showing um, celebrities, like, before and after uh, plastic surgery and Botox and lip fillers and all this stuff. But they were all people that said that they didn't have any surgery or fillers or Botox or whatever else and like they clearly did and that is so annoying to me um because there's just this standard of what we're supposed to look like and the people that set this standard don't even look like that and I don't blame them because of the amount of criticism that they get about their looks because for whatever reason the internet uh, makes people think that you should comment on other people's looks like, no, you shouldn't. It doesn't matter. Your opinion is literally so relevant on the way someone looks. Like, stop. And probably the most things. But it's just so sad that they feel the need to get all this work done and then lie about it. So then all of their millions of people that they influence think that, like, you should naturally look like that. But no one naturally looks like that. And they don't even look like that after all the surgery. And it's just this vicious, never-ending cycle of being told you don't look good enough and then they get work done and lie about it and then still use Photoshop and <coughs> everything else. And it's just so unrealistic and stupid, so it <sighs> just annoys me. So here's my acne today. I'm at this confusing place in life where I'm getting wrinkles but still have acne, so that's cool. Um, but I just wanted to say, uh, number one... Your opinion on the way someone else looks doesn't matter. So, like, stop stop giving it. And number two, uh, these people that you feel like you have to look like, they don't even look like that. So, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know what makes someone beautiful? Being nice. If you're nice, you are beautiful. That's all there is to it. But if you're mean, it doesn't matter how physically beautiful you are. You're not, you're not, you're not. God, I'm so eloquent. <laughs> I got a phone call today and I answered it because I'm like, so nice. And they were like, hey, is Raina there? And I was like, no, sorry, you have the wrong number. And then he was like, oh, okay, are your parents home? Which is scary and annoying because I am 29. And this stuff happens to me every single day. And actually my mom was home. <laughs> she was right next to me and she heard it. So she could vouch for it because some of you think I make this stuff up. I don't have to make it up. These things happen to me literally every day. No need to make it up. So I wouldn't say I'm superstitious, but I am a little stitious. And these cats that I'm feeding right now look exactly like my pants. I don't know what that means. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I bought a house and I freaking love it. 
Well, the camera's moving our lawn. Oh, he's done. I don't really have any furniture yet, but these beams are from the Hershey Chocolate Factory, which is so cool. And I have the most important thing. And my backyard is vibey. Octus, rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, a uh, large fry, and a uh, chocolate snake. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. that obtuse just rubber goose, green moose, glove juice, Chinese sneak, birthday cake, large fried chocolate shake. Clive, don't tell me why I'm eating lucky charms for the third time today. Why don't you stop recording? I just want you all to know that I carried all 48 of these water bottles up at one time out from my garage because out. Say it with me. I'd rather die than make two trips. That's right. Good job, guys. See you later. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I just want to say I'm proud to be Irish. I'm like 64% Irish, but we're not all the same. We don't all like have freckles all over our bodies. And most of us don't even really care that much about potatoes. And we don't all burn super easily. Some of us tan. So today I had to call a company because there was a leak at our house. And when the lady answered, I was telling her what was going on. And she was like, you don't sound old enough to have a house. And out loud, I was like, haha. But in my mind, I was like, you don't sound smart enough to have a job. I've never done a stitch this video before. So here I go. Stitch this with a cartoon impression. I'll go first. Pikachu! Pika! Pika pee! Pika! Well, it's Talent Tuesday, and I can't sing or dance, but I can... <laughs> I can burp. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> You're interrupting. No, this is a... This is a fail. Cameron, I'm serious. This is the last straw. How am I supposed to drink my tea? Uh, I'm about to attempt to put together some Ikea furniture, so if you don't hear from me for a few weeks, that's why. Um, apparently I need someone else to help me, so I hired this thing. He's doing a really good job so far. great about Ikea furniture is that all the pieces just come in one mixed up bag, and um, none of the furniture parts are labeled in any sort of way. And I really hope I'm not screwing this up. Also, by the way, I am hammered right now. Rude! I know it was a bad joke, but stop interrupting me. So just want to point out that this instruction manual is 40 pages. Now they always say congratulations.